These are two phones that I really wish, I had been wishing, I had been hoping, go to bed at night, I'd look at the ceiling and say to myself, where is the Mate XS2 and where is the Mix Fold 2? Because I'm the folding phone guy. I was using the Z Fold 4 for ever since it came out, daily driver status, and I did the same with the three. I've been folding and creasing and so forth since the beginning. I'm always curious about the different ways in which companies are approaching this new form factor. In front of me here, I have two different takes from brands that I've had a little bit more difficulty interacting with. Obviously, we know the story with Huawei and then the Mix Fold 2 where they were able to really slim things down. I wanna look at the hinges. I wanna feel the tension. I want to open up the display and see what I'm looking at. I want to compare the exterior fold to the interior fold. They're two totally different approaches. How about this one, the Mate XS2? I believe this model is still Snapdragon 888, whereas the Mix Fold 2 goes up to 8 plus Gen 1. So this is flagship status as of today. But what I'm mostly curious about is the mechanical aspect of these devices. Ooh and it feels insanely slender with this leather-like finish on the back. Here's what's fancy and special. It goes this way, the other way, and it clips here with a button. Why don't I just right now hit the power button? This really feels like a typical smartphone. I think we all know the potential downside here. Ooh, hello there. We have our softer display exposed at all times on front and back. Speaker sounds pretty good. Camera layout over here as well. It all kind of blends together. In a way, this solution feels more futuristic. The problem is practicality and durability. Huawei says, hey, we put like a really protective finish on there. So you're going to be good and cool and fine. But I think there's going to be people that are nervous regardless. A very slim bezel, certainly on that side. Look at that, vibrant. I will lock it at 120 and standard will lock it at 60. This might be a champion status when it comes to feeling like a regular smartphone when it's in its non-folded, non-unfolded. Although it does seem pretty slippery. Now, as far as the fingerprint scanner is concerned, it's over here in the thumb location. And then you have your volume rocker above there, some stereo speakers and the type C port is over here. In order to open it up, you hit this button, which flings it like that. And look at it kind of slowly release. I'm guessing you're gonna be holding it like this. It does feel very science fiction with just how slender it is. I mean, we still obviously have a hinge here. It's just kind of different the way that it feels compared to something like the Z Fold 4. These devices are China only. They're not easy to get your hands on in North America. And there are some drawbacks, including in the case of this device, the lack of support on the Google side of things. And then also the regional stuff when it comes to languages and so forth. In the package, a type C connector, a fast charger capable of 66 watt supercharge, which is gonna be key with this device because it does not have the biggest battery. It's not gonna be a tip top battery performer. I would consider that a premium unboxing experience. Mix Fold 2 co-engineered with Leica, the latest flagship chip from Qualcomm in the form of the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. Ooh, ah, who wins the unboxing experience? Maybe this one. So we go this way and then we remove this and here is our device. Ooh also quite slender. So in the case of this device, this is your exterior display and then you open it up. Wow, okay then. This though on the outside and the slenderness of the whole deal, I have to say kind of appealing. What a big display on the exterior. And because they slimmed it down, it is a lot closer feeling to just a typical non-folding smartphone. You're just then gonna open it up for your more extended consumption session. This looks like it also has some big grills for stereo speakers, type C to charge it up fast charge, side mounted fingerprint scanner, volume rocker above there. You do have more of a bump for the camera in collaboration with Leica. SIM tray is up along the top. Now this hinge feels quite a bit different. It's like more spring loaded almost when compared to the Z Fold 4. And I know cause I opened and closed that thing thousands of times. Oh, he has a Z Fold. Yeah, 
So Z Fold feels more like you could kind of stop it at a few different spots and then there's tension at the very end prior to the close. But it's also smaller. It's definitely small. The external display is definitely small. I didn't necessarily mind that about this phone because it let my thumb reach across easily with the narrow screen. But this is so thin and lovely to hold. Keep in mind, this video is all about the hardware. I realize the software limitation of utilizing a device from a different region. There's another device I really wanted to work, which was the Oppo Find N. That was just such a solid feeling piece of hardware. I love checking out the international varieties and different takes and sort of where the technology is at from a hardware perspective. But often it's not worth the software pain points to actually attempt to use one of these on a daily basis. Today's episode has been sponsored by Established Titles. Have you ever had the issue of trying to select a gift for somebody who has absolutely everything? Today I have something that they probably haven't seen, a proclamation of their very own lordship making somebody a lord lord lou hereafter referred to as the lord has by way of notice this 18th day of october in the year 2022 in first year of the reign of our sovereign king charles the third by the grace of god there's some medieval stuff going on right there it is a bit of fun but it has some actual pretty cool specs to it each lord title pack includes a dedicated plot of land measuring one square foot five feet or ten square feet a person personalized title certificate with your name or the name of the title holder, a unique plot number that will be assigned to the title holder. And for every single order, a tree will be planted in these regions for reforestation and the protection of the environment in those regions. Do I need to be of a certain nationality in order to buy a title pack? No, you do not. Can I refer to myself as a lord or lady? Yes. Can I use the titles of lord and lady on my documents? Yes, you can change your title on your documents. What this is about is the preservation and protection of woodland areas in Scotland. Your little plot, your little piece, and of course the tree that you've planted is gonna contribute to the protection of those forests in those regions. Thank you again to Established Titles for sponsoring this episode. Check the description of this video for all the relevant details and also a promotion so that you can pick one of these up as a gift for somebody else uh, this holiday season or just become uh, a lord yourself it's up to you mo would like that lord mo sounds pretty good actually lord mo if i had to pick which hardware i would choose based on this interaction it would be here the xiaomi mix fold 2 outside inside softer display still protected this is an enormous display once you've got it unfolded let's do a quick comparison of the unfolded scale, I guess that's pretty similar. I happen to know that the battery life is also better on this device. Plus you've got the flagship chip in here. Xiaomi might be winning. Granted, we have to bring Samsung into the mix. This feels the strongest of the bunch. I don't know if you can understand how substantial, and uh, maybe it doesn't look as significant as it feels. There's something about this one. It's just feels a little bit more right, I guess. And this feels more like I'm holding a peanut butter and jam sandwich, which, to each their own, those can be delicious as well. Although I typically will toast the bread if that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna use the crunchy peanut butter as well. Got a case. How are they going to manage their case design? Ah, a leather-like finish with a kickstand. So I have the uh, later case typically on the Z Fold 4. And what it does, I, I only install the back region. I typically don't install the front portion. What it does is give me a little bit more of a ridge to grasp onto when I'm opening it up. So sometimes that can be finicky when you don't have one side elevated. So I think in this case, actually the usability goes up when you have the one-sided case because now the ridge is much more obvious to your thumb. This is a thing you're gonna be doing all day long and you don't have to dig your fingernail in as much. Plus, I guess you get a little bit of protection. And in this case, you're gonna flick out the uh, kickstand and oof. Stereo speakers, one for each ear like this. You're having lunch or something. That is a very nice little option. Oh, Billy Billy, here we go. Billy Billy got video. I used to have videos on Billy Billy. I don't know if I still do or not. Check it out. See? Shout out Zeeler. Some contemporaries allege that Bonaparte was put under house arrest at Nice. What an era. Association with the Robespierre's following their fall in the Thermidorian 
reaction. Yeah, I might be writing a report. You wonder how this type, can... how that type of content is received across the globe with the subtitles and such. If anything is lost in translation or not. Did you get a new Yeti mug? I did. Easy. That's not cheap. I know. You're splurging like that now? Yeah, so the speakers, it's nice. You get a, a decent stereo spread out of it. The quality on that video wasn't fantastic in order to analyze. Maybe this place is a little higher quality video. Now we're taking real international risks. Anything can happen here. Is that beer? What do you think that drink is? It's like blue. Energy or beer? Damn, look at the nutrition in this milk right here. Grab that at T-Mall real quick. Skateboard drink. This guy's back with the... The aggressive dance fighting. Are you familiar with it? I just never know how you figure out who won the battle. But this is where the folding device really excels, is this idea of content consumption. In my opinion and in my experience, it's like you just wanna lay back and watch some videos. The form factor is even better than a dedicated tablet in most cases. Those things tend to be a bit heavy, depending on where you hold it and stuff. Like this is just, it's, perfect when you've got an extra second to watch a video that's a little bit longer or something you're laying on the couch or i can imagine even for public transit and stuff it's not a phone anymore of course it can fold back up and change its form factor it's getting a lot closer to the idea of no compromises as a phone it still feels right and then when it's unfolded it's like whoa bonus whereas this one a bit of a brick, and this one does something similar. As much as I want to love it, it feels to me like this particular tech is not going to win out. Even I feel somewhat sensitive about constantly resting my fingers and resting the device down. My edge is going to go to the new Mix Fold 2. This is flagship category all around. So whether we're talking about display quality or camera performance, mainly what I wanted to analyze was the different approach to the mechanical aspect, just the approach in general to a folding phone and where I think it's gonna go based on these designs. But I would love to see particularly this device, a North American version of it. It's ambitious. This is an ambitious part of the market at the moment. And that's why I'm so excited about it. So there you have it. Those are the three big players in the folding phone space. Unfortunately, I don't have the find N with me at the moment, but we're getting there. We're gonna get there. We're gonna have folding displays, good battery life, fast charging, flagship specs, and we're gonna keep figuring out I like how I'm taking some credit for it. Like, I'm like, we're gonna do it. Hopefully you appreciated this glimpse into a couple international options. The Mix Fold 2, the Mate XS2, and obviously you know this one, the Z Fold 4. Let me know in the comments which one you would go for if software didn't play a part whatsoever. If you only had to make the decision based on the hardware, which of these three would you select? Let me know.